Okay, so I'm back with, uh, this is just something real quick. I wasn't going to do a video review of this, but figured why not. So again, I'm shooting this on my iPhone. I didn't want to take out the camera and, and just to do this real quick. So this was uh, sent to me by Megan over Auto Geek, and this is Worth Cockpit Care. And so if we look at the back, um, it says it, it's kind of hard to see. Um, so it leaves quality wax and jojoba oils or... I believe that's how you say it on your plastic surfaces and leaves a satin matte uh, gloss so it looks like it's a trim protectant or actually I should say a dash protectant for your interior plastics um, it doesn't say anything if I can use it on vinyl and rubber other than plastics so I'm just gonna go ahead and use it on my dash again they want they recommend to clean the surface and spray it onto a clean dry cloth and apply and then to protect from frost, I don't have to worry about that, I'm in California. So I'm going to go ahead and give this a shot. So I already taped off the dash. I haven't put anything on my dash in a long time. I really just wipe it down with Meguiar's Quick Interior Detailer. That works out pretty well for me because this dash does reflect off the glass. Um, you know, the plastic here, and especially the plastics down here because this is like a harder plastic and this is just the material. So we're just going to give this a shot. Uh, I've opened this up. From the bottom, it's pretty thick, so I don't know if you guys can hear that. It's a pretty thick liquid in there. Let me just shake it up real good. So I'm gonna go ahead and spray it onto a foam applicator, and we'll go from there. So let me just uh, I might spray a couple shots on here just to prime my pad since I haven't used put anything on here. You can kind of see it's got like a lotion, thick clear kind of thing. So if I play with it, kind of, yeah, it's kind of real, real liquidy. So I'm just gonna go ahead and apply it to the right side. And I'm gonna do this part. I'm gonna let, let it test out for durability wise to see the way it uh, holds up uh, over the past, the next few weeks. So I'm just gonna do like half of this this area here, so I'm just gonna work it in here. You know, nothing too hard to do. Actually, I'm just go down lower too, right here. So I'm putting this on my Pontiac Grand Prix. So this car gives you an age, and you know, it's almost gonna be 18 years in, in July. And so I've had it for 18 years, and the plastics have aged fairly well. We'll just work that in. Actually, I'm gonna put a little bit more. And I'm gonna actually use it on the plastic at the top. I'm gonna spray a little bit more. It sprays out really well from the trigger. So I'm gonna apply it up here. So this is actually a hard plastic. I want to see if it re how it reflects during the week. Okay, I'll just come back. Just work it in. Let all that, uh, those oils and stuff absorb into the dash. So let that sit for a few minutes. Actually, I'll pull back the tape, see if it left any darkening effect on here. So I pulled up the tape. Uh, yeah, they're pretty pretty accurate you can't really tell that it's on there so it does leave a matte finish on there because you can see where my tape line was was at and I don't see anything there so I guess that's uh, pretty accurate as to what they can do so let me just go ahead and lightly buff off any excess and this will actually knock down the shine as well I don't know, especially up here. Just real light, you're not going to go super crazy. That's all there was to it. I mean, again, if I pull the tape line back, I mean, I can't tell the difference between this side that I applied stuff to, to this side that doesn't have anything on it. So, uh, it looks like it does leave a matte finish. Uh, we'll see how it holds up after a week or so. I'm gonna put the tape line back because I'm gonna take pictures and post a review up on actual Auto Geek forum. 
So again, that's the Worth cockpit care. It looks like it uh, did, like I said, it, let me just go back to it. So it leaves a set and matte gloss finish. So that's exactly what it left on there. And pleasant odor. Yeah, I didn't notice anything too strong from it. And of course, it's free from solvents and silicone, which is a good thing. You don't want to have uh, that kind of stuff on your dash because that just sits on there and uh, actually dries your plastic out. So it looks like we'll see how this holds up and I'll report back in about a week and, and quick update on it. So again, this is worth cockpit care. Uh, I looked on AutoGeek's website. This sells for $22.99, so I'll just say $23. That's US dollars. Um, you get a lot of product in there and you can sell a, a, a little went a long way. And again, this is a 16.9 ounce bottle. So again, thanks for watching. I'll put the link for the review up on, uh, on the show more part of it. and. Uh, on to the next video.